Okay, welcome to ETN News. We're looking at the earthquakes, and this is Hawaii. This is 2.2 on Mauna Loa. These down through here, not not much going on in Hawaii right now. Let's look at the 2.5s and greater. Okay, we don't have anything. The way the plates are shifting and things like that, the continents are moving. We should see something. Okay, now here's the earthquakes in Alaska. We had a 4.2 southwest of Tanana, Alaska. 3.0 miles deep. And 3.4 down this way. That is north east of Anchorage. Anchorage is right down in here. Right, let's go on down and check out these earthquakes. All right, now these are west of Mount Rainier. Small one on Yellowstone, 1.9. We had a 4.3 out here off the coast. That was yesterday. Okay, we got a 2.3 north northeast of Petrolia, California, 16.9 miles deep, and a small one beside that one, 1 1.8. And we're looking at how these patterns are going. Indian Springs, these has dropped way off. They are very small quakes. Nevada. Now we got down here around Acatillo Wells. Starting to show a little bit of activity down here. So we got to watch that area. What I'm looking at is we might be having a 4 or 4 plus moving down through California. Maybe even close to a 5. It's a pretty good sized quake moving down through here. It depends on if it comes down and junctions, junctions off onto different faults, loses magnitude, or it stays in route and hits the next weak spot. Then it could be up to a 5. And Oklahoma scattered out small quakes on the new major in Tennessee, a 2.8 west northwest of Trimble, Tennessee, 2.2 miles deep. And we had a 1.8 east southeast of Marston, Missouri, 5.6 miles deep. Nothing over in the east anywhere. At least anything's not being reported. Okay, now let's look at these earthquakes. We was looking for a 7 plus. We did get that 6.5 and downgrade to a 6.3. That's 23.1 miles deep. I showed an update on this one earlier. And we was watching this area. Now we have another upper 6 to a 7 plus on the move. And I really can't tell where it's going because it, we got that pressure coming down through here too through California that's a pretty good sized quake and since that's coming down through here we'll, we should see some activity on the Cascadia some more activity we see that every time that we see a 7 plus moving but it's starting out like a 7 plus or more from the Cascadia and what happens is where these continents is moving North American plate pushing into Pacific plate pushing up over to this side and to all of these plates continents and what it does it builds up over here and a earthquake takes off and then it comes all the way around and when it comes around it hits the next weak spot in the crust and hits over in here then another thing is when the earthquakes push over here, when the it's pushing up against this plate, over here on this plate, it'll show signs of pushing and a large quake over here, but it'll the damage will hit over here on this side. It's really hard to read like that. But anyway, we had a 4.5 down here in Mexico, but still... A 4 plus up through here is what I'm looking for in the next 3 to 5 days. Could go up to 7. And 
in 5.4 Chile. And that uh, other quake, I can't hardly tell where it's going. It's, it's coming down through here, so it could junction off and go towards South America, or it could come on around, and the way Alaska is piling up, we may be looking at this area through here again, the top part over here, north of the Philippines and all of that. Okay, I'll see you on the next update. Watch for the upper 6 to a 7 plus again. And, you know, it may hit up here in this top part right here this time. But it may hit anywhere else too. It could go anywhere on these faults. It's hard to keep up with. But like I was saying, it is coming. So just watch for it and we do know it's coming. Next 3 to 5 days. I'll see you on the next update. And the way it's looking, it is building to a 7 plus, so it could be a 7 plus. Everybody stay safe, and we'll be watching.